Hi everyone, I'm Amy, one of the public health nutritionists from Food Bank WA. Today I'm going to be talking about the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating. The Australian Guide to Healthy Eating is also known as the Healthy Eating Plate, and it shows us what and how much to eat from the five food groups on most days. So where did this place come from? It was created based on a lot of research by the Australian Government into what foods make up a healthy diet. The Healthy Eating Plate helps us choose foods to include across the day to keep our body healthy. The first food group is the grain and cereal foods group. This group is made up of cereals, rice, pasta and bread. So this group is important because it provides us with carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is our body's favourite sort of fuel or energy. So you may also notice that lots of these foods are our breakfast foods. So things like um, cereals and toast, crumpets, English muffins. If we have one of them for breakfast in the morning, it's a really good choice because it gives us long lasting energy to get us through to our next meal. Something else that also helps us get through to our next meal is fibre. Fibre is found in a lot of these foods and it's really good for our tummy. Our next food groups are our vegetable group and our fruit group. So these foods are really high in vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are tiny nutrients found in these foods and they do lots of different things in our body, such as helping to fight off a cold. These foods are also really high in fibre, like our grain foods. So they help to keep us fuller for longer, but they also keep our digestive system happy. As well as fresh, you can also get these foods tinned or frozen. So that means you can have a convenient option if you don't have fresh vegetables or fruit available. The next group is the milk, yogurt and cheese group. So most of the food in this group are dairy foods. Why do you think dairy foods are so important? So dairy foods have lots of calcium and protein. So firstly, calcium is really important to help build strong bones. And protein is really important to help build strong muscles. So there's some foods in this group that aren't dairy foods. Things like soy milk or soy yogurt. So people might choose to have soy products if they can't digest normal dairy products but these products still give us calcium and protein to help build strong bones and muscles. So the last food group is the meat and alternative group. So this group has things in it like meat, fish, chicken, eggs, nuts, seeds and tofu. So there's quite a few different sorts of foods in this group. Why do you think that may be? So all the foods in this group, they all give us the same nutrients. So they've got protein to help us build and keep our muscles strong, like we find with our dairy foods. And they've also got iron in them. Iron's really important to help move oxygen around our blood all through our body so that we feel nice and energised. Each of the food groups on this poster are different sizes. Why do you think that may be? So our grains group and our vegetable group are larger than the others because we need a bit more of them to get the nutrients from the foods that our body needs. All of the foods on this poster are everyday foods as it's important we eat a variety of these foods across the day to help give our body the nutrition that it needs. At Food Bank we call all of these foods superhero foods as they have superpowers such as building strong bones and muscles or fighting off illness. Choose superhero foods for a strong mind and healthy body. And don't forget to drink water across the day, as your body's made up by more than 70% of water. You may also notice this group down in the corner. We call this the only sometimes and in small amounts group. As, a, as the foods found in this group are high in fat, salt and sugar, but most importantly, they don't have all the superpowers that we get from our superhero foods up here. At Food Bank, we call these foods zombie foods, as you might feel like a bit of a zombie if you eat too many of them. For some great resources on the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating, check out eatforhealth.gov.au. To learn more about superhero foods and to access all of our superhero food resources, such as recipe books, posters and storybooks, visit superherofoodshq.org.au. That's all for now, but please stay tuned for more videos to come. From myself and the Food Bank WA team, Please stay safe, stay healthy and stay connected.